Hey, it's Greg Torres. I'm here with Sam again, and we just got out of the woods. It's hot. It's summertime. It's a really hot summer. But as we were walking out, we noticed this uh, little nest here on the on this black cherry tree. What it contains is tent caterpillars. And oftentimes people complain about this. They're wondering what's killing their plants, what's afflicting their leaves. And that's what it is. It's the caterpillars of this moth species. And what they do is they spin a web around this whole area, kind of cordon off a section of the plant. And then from there, they just work on the inside, eating the leaves. Um, from, by doing this, they, they really prohibit a bird from putting his beak into their, to get the, the caterpillars. So it's a form of protection from them. And also, even if you wanted to spray it with some kind of uh, pesticide, what you'd find is that it, the liquid would just beat up on the net and it wouldn't actually penetrate in. So it's really a, a good protective measure for them. So what you do see though on oftentimes these tent caterpillar nests are wasps and they will be able to push through that netting and predate on the grubs. Once they've eaten everything over here, sometimes they'll move to another part and tent that off and continue feeding until they've reached maturity. Then they disperse, uh, pupate, and then turn into a moth species later on. Um, generally speaking, I don't like to cut them off. You could just cut off the section that they are afflicting and discard that or put them somewhere else. Or for me, I just let them do their little work. They do a bit of damage, but they certainly won't kill the tree and I allow them to move on. Moths oftentimes feed bats, birds, and a num number of other higher creatures in our ecosystem. So if you can appreciate it for a little bit, kind of learn and get to understand it a bit, uh, you, might, you might find that you're helping out the ecosystem a little bit. But yep, that's what this is, tent caterpillars.